and welcome to, an unexpected journey into fitted mesh. So, when we want to work with fitted mesh, then we first need to clarify, what the term fitted mesh actually means. Well, here is the shortest answer to this question. Fitted mesh is a technique to use the avatar collision volume bones, for volume shaping of your characters and attachments. Okay, now you don't need to panic, in this video we will explain all of this in great detail. So, fasten your seat belts, and here we go. This, is an avastar rig with a custom mesh character, but let me hide the character for a moment, so that we can concentrate on the bones. Normally when we talk about the second life skeleton, then we mean the second life base bone set. Those are the 26 bones which have always been used for shaping and animating the second life character itself. However, the shaping of your custom characters with just the skeleton is very limited. All that you can do here is modifying bone length. Thus you can change only a few aspects of the character, like for example, the character's height, the body thickness, the arm length, and a few others. In fact only about 20 of the 130 appearance sliders modify the skeleton itself. In Avastar we have marked these sliders with a small bone icon, as you can see here. All other sliders use a complete different method to shape your character. That is, they use morph shapes, or shape keys, as they are named in Blender. Morph shapes work completely independent from the skeleton bones, in fact they directly modify the mesh itself. But when you use mesh characters in Second Life, like in this example, then only the skeleton sliders are functional. So, none of the morph sliders take any influence on custom meshes, and because of this, it is so troublesome to get your meshes matching to your shape. In summary, most appearance sliders have no influence on the meshes. Now Linden Lab could just have decided, to also implement morph shapes for meshes. But this did not happen. Instead of this, they used a hidden set of extra bones, the collision volumes. The original purpose of the collision volumes was to provide a very simplistic mesh representation of the avatar, which was only used to calculate the interaction of the character with the environment. In order to get this to work properly, each collision volume bone is associated to an invisible primitive mesh, which varies in size, depending on the appearance sliders. So. When the avatar shape changes, then the underlying volume bones are changed as well, and thus the set of octahedral meshes keeps a primitive representation of the avatar shape. It is this primitive mesh, that is used to calculate when the avatar for example bumps into a wall, or when it touches on ground. So, you see that the original purpose of the volume bones had nothing at all to do with the avatar shape. But bones are bones and there is in fact no big difference between the regular second life base bones and the collision volumes. Let's take another look at the Avastar rig. When you switch the rigging style from classic to fitted mesh, then you see two immediate changes. First, an additional set of bones is displayed in a light orange color. These are the collision volume bones and those octahedral shapes indicate the locations of the before-mentioned invisible collision meshes of the second life avatar. And here is also where the fitted mesh magic happens, when you add weight values to the collision volume bones, then these weights will also affect the visible meshes of the avatar. Almost like it works for the other skeleton bones as well. And because of this, the collision volumes are nowadays also called the fitted mesh bones. So, when Avastar is in fitted mesh mode, then it visually marks the fitted mesh sliders with a magnet icon. However, a very important restriction applies on collision volume bones. 
The location of the collision volumes is strictly determined by their relation to the second life base bones. Thus, you can use the second life base bones to animate the skeleton. But the position of the collision volumes will always be calculated automatically. In fact the collision volumes are clamped to their corresponding base bones, and they always will move along with them in perfect synchronization, as you can see here for example. But the most important message is, fitted mesh is not a replacement for morph shapes. It only gives you some more options to change your meshes with the appearance sliders. But these changes are not compatible to the morph sliders. The most confusing part of this is, the fitted mesh sliders behave different for the avatar and for its attachments. For the avatar they control morph shapes, while for custom meshes they control the collision volumes. And here is where all the trouble starts. However all the rest is technique, and experience. So, let's now get into practice and create a fitted mesh based outfit.